Welcome back. So we are just over halfway through American Heart Month, which raises awareness for the heart for heart disease as the number one killer of both men and women here in the U.S. And a recent study from the American Heart Association found that high blood pressure complications in the U.S. pregnancies have nearly doubled. Here to help break down some of that research is Dr. <clears throat> excuse me, Sabrina Phillips, a cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, also a volunteer with the American Heart Association. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me to talk about this very important topic and important findings. You know, I, when I was pregnant, I remember everyone said, you know, pregnancy is not a disease, it's natural. But, you know, I find that a lot of younger women are concerned about their safety when they're giving birth. And then you look at alarming statistics like this and you understand that. Can you tell us more about what you found? Yeah, so this was a very large study over 11 years looking at 48 million pregnancies that delivered in the U.S., so very good numbers. And this showed that high blood pressure that existed before pregnancy, not because of pregnancy, it doubled over the study period. And so that's an alarming sign because we know that high blood pressure not only predicts complications during pregnancy, but it portends that you're gonna have cardiovascular complications as you age. So this is a group of young women who are at risk, who are getting a risk factor for long-term cardiology, cardiac disease, and we need to intervene and help people know their numbers and know that high blood pressure, which is silent, um, is a serious um, concern and needs to be addressed. Definitely, and, and you know, you have some women who will have a great pregnancy the entire time and, the, and then at the end experience these issues. So what are some of the measures that American Heart Association is taking to first make this make women aware of this and then also address the problem? Yeah, we've tried to come up with the campaign at Know Your Numbers and the seven factors for healthy living. And those things are important even when you're young. I think when we are young women, uh, like you said, we're told pregnancy is not a disease. So we think we're healthy. Um, that these things can't harm us. But it's so important that before conception and during pregnancy that you seek health care, that you make sure you get your blood pressure taken. And as part of the health care system and, and things that the American Heart Association is working for is to get better resources out to communities um, because this study showed that women who lived in rural communities were at significantly higher risk than women who lived in urban areas where maybe there was more access to healthcare providers. So it's going to be critical that we move forward in trying to reach everyone, no matter where you live, so that you know your blood pressure numbers and that you're aware that it's an issue to, to be followed. You know, one thing, I, I was on the board of Northeast Florida Healthy Start Coalition, and when women would have that first appointment with their doctor, they gave them a questionnaire to fill out and then it identified their risk factors. So it's so important that you give that information, that you use the resources that are there for you and also listen to your doctor when they say you might have to make some changes. Correct, correct. It's, um, I think so often we think, well, that blood pressure was a little high. I was nervous when I went into the office. So, you know, I'm probably really don't have a problem. It's really important to recognize that high blood pressure does signal uh, risk factors for problems, not only immediately during your pregnancy, but as you age. And we need to look at all our other risk factors. Some people thought, well, the pregnancy related hypertension increased because women are older in America. As, as time has gone on, we've seen older women having babies, but that wasn't true. It was still elevated, almost doubled, even for the younger age group women. And we think that those are related to cardiac risk factors that we need to make people aware of. So um, being inactive, um, gaining weight, um, not being able to eat healthy. And sometimes that's out of our um, patients and uh, control. They live in food um, deserts, so to speak. And we need to work on that. And stress. I always say that's another Correct. one. All right. Thank Correct. you so much. And, and, you know, for women, definitely considering it's not always chest pain, that you have to pay attention to your whole body. And if you Correct. just don't feel right, then you do need to talk to your doctor because it could be something wrong with your heart. Thank you so much for educating us today. Thank you for having me.